Jewish Channel's Week in Review. A bankruptcy court list reveals potential new victims in the Bernie Madoff case. The Vatican strikes back against its Holocaust-denying bishop. Google gets caught up in terrorism controversy. And the most impoverished city in America is almost all Jewish. Hello, and welcome to the Jewish Channel's Week in Review. I'm Stephen I. Weiss. A jailed lawyer, a Hall of Fame pitcher, a hospital, and an orchestra are among the previously unreported potential victims of alleged con artist Bernie Madoff listed in a court document revealed this week. The 162-page document is said to contain more than 13,000 names. Among the more famous Jewish names TJC News found are Hall of Fame pitcher Sandy Koufax and jail class action lawyer Mel Weiss. TJC News also found listings related to Israeli charities, including the Shari Tzedek Hospital in Jerusalem and the Israeli Philharmonic Orchestra. The Vatican is demanding that a Holocaust-denying bishop recant his statements. In a statement from its Secretariat of State, the Vatican asserts that Pope Benedict XVI only partially reinstated four bishops who reject the reforms of Vatican II, including most controversially Bishop Richard Williamson, who denies the historicity of the Holocaust. The statement further declares... Bishop Williamson, in order to claim admission to Episcopal functions in the Church, must distance himself in absolutely unequivocal and public fashion from his positions regarding the Shoah, which were not known by the Holy Father when the excommunication was lifted. In Israel news, Google was caught up in controversy over terrorism this week when Hamas was reported to have used its Google Earth service to plan attacks. While Google Earth's detailed pictures would be useful to any terrorist, Google fought back against claims that it was to be held responsible. I don't think it's tipping the balance in favor of the bad guys, said the director of Google Earth in a statement, adding, the evilness is in the philosophies and the desires of those that want to do evil. Back here in the United States, it was recently discovered that the most impoverished city in America is actually populated almost entirely by Jews. Curious Joel, a Samar Hasidic enclave in upstate New York, has more than two-thirds of its residents living below the federal poverty line, and more than 40% receive food stamps. These numbers were discovered in a review of the latest census figures by the Times-Herald record of Hudson Valley. In entertainment news, the first ever Ethiopian Israeli film director is presenting his movie at the Sephardic Film Festival. Christian Eden reports. Shmuel Beru started out as an actor and a comedian in Israel. But when good acting roles were hard to come by, he decided to make his own film. A lot of actors like me, you know, different color, they don't get, you know, good roles in in uh, on movie or you know on theater, so I decided to take responsibility and I say I, I need to di- direct film and I can write for myself and you know I don't need any favor from uh, somebody else. The first time film director has been garnering accolades for his Srubavel about the cultural conflicts between the older and younger generations of a typical Ethiopian Israeli family. It won the grand prize at the Haifa International Film Festival and a prestigious American premiere. With more and more Israeli films making their way to American shores, Mr. Beru hopes to lead a new wave of Ethiopian Israeli cinema. I think it's, uh, it's open uh, a lot of uh, opportunity for others. And what's next for Mr. Beru? Well, he's already at work on his next project, in which this time he hopes to act. I have to take a part because it's what I really like to do, you know, to act in. Thank you, Christian. Other entertainment news this week is straight out of Brooklyn with artist Why Love burning up YouTube with a new music video. New video dropped January 20th. Me and Describe, you know, put together a song all about the, you know, changes that's going, that's going on right now. The video, Change, tackles the inauguration of a new president and a Jewish idea of hope for the future. All about going back to Jerusalem with Obama behind me. It's a political statement why love feels is important to make as a black Jew. I told my Rav, because my rabbi is a Republican, I said, on Inauguration Day, I watched a guy who from a distance looked like my father walking down an aisle to swear in his oath of office. Nothing will ever take that moment away from me. And he also said that being orthodox has particular meaning for his statement. You see all these keepers at all these Republican uh, events, and at the Jewish Democratic Council, you'll see people who belong to things like Hadassah and B'nai B'rith and like all these, the non-religious and secular organizations seem to be more in line with the left wing. And what I wanted to show, you know, at least partially was, here I am, I'm rhyming about Yerushalayim, half in Hebrew. The chorus is from Tehillim, and check it out, I voted for Obama. That's all for this week. For more TJC News, visit newsdesk.tjctv.com. From all of us here at the Jewish Channel, be well.